Welcome to this introductory video of Lightspeed Order Ahead. My name is Juji, and in this video I will walk you through how to set up your online ordering platform with Lightspeed L series. We will talk about how to set up your restaurant manager, what settings to check in your online ordering back office, and how does receiving orders and order management look like. Let's get started. Firstly, we will talk about how to set up products for your online menu. Log into your Lightspeed restaurant back office and navigate to the Products tab on the left hand side. Then click on Categories. To group your items for your online ordering menu, you need to create shortcut categories. Click the Add Shortcut Category button, enter the name of the menu category you would like to create, starting with the name Order Ahead. Then click on Save. And don't forget to uncheck the visible checkbox so you don't see the category on your point of sale. Now we need to add products to this category. Head to the new category you just created, simply click the Add Product button and select any of the products you would like to offer in this category. In my case, this is Order Ahead Snacks, so I'm just taking a few items to add to this category. I'm saving my selections and I will repeat this for every other category I'd like to see online. Now that we are in our restaurant manager, we should also think about staff permissions. In order to accept online orders, we need to provide certain permissions to staff. Navigate to the Users on the left-hand side and select User Groups. Choose the profile which you would like to edit. To grant permission to accept orders, select the option Allow Edit Receipts Other Users. To grant permission to cancel and refund orders, select the option to Allow Edit Finalized Receipts and Allow Void Receipt. Once you saved it, log out of your restaurant point of sale and log in again to enable these settings. We have one more setup in our restaurant manager and that is enabling auto accept and new order alert sounds. Navigate to the devices tab of the navigation bar, click on the restaurant app settings tab and choose the profile for which you would like to enable auto accept for and scroll down to the online ordering section. You can configure your point of sale to either play a sound when a new order comes in or automatically accept new orders. If you enable both, the point of sale will auto accept online orders and the sound notification will be bypassed. So what's the difference between these options? The customer facing order statuses, order placed, order in progress, order complete are dependent on the online ordering settings configured from restaurant manager. If your device profile is set to automatically accept and finalize online orders, the order is automatically received by the point of sale and generates an almost automatic ready for pickup message for your customer. If your device profile is set to automatically accept online orders, the order is automatically received by the point of sale, the customer facing message on order ahead auto updates to via preparing your order. Only once a point of sale user finalizes the receipt does the message on order ahead change to order ready for pickup. If your device profile is set to manually accept and finalize online orders, the order is sent to your point of sale where a user must manually accept and finalize the incoming order. Only when the order is accepted and finalized will the customer see a status update on order ahead. In the same group of settings, Tap the checkbox beside Disable Device Sleep to ensure that the device does not go to sleep by running Restaurant Point of Sale. This will ensure your incoming online orders are received. If you want the device to play a notification bell sound for each incoming online orders, tap the checkbox beside Sound Effects and from the drop down menu specify how you want the notification to sound. You can choose to play the sound once or repeat the alert until the orders have been accepted or of course disable the sound alerts. As a next step, let's look at our online ordering setup. We will start with the payment settings. Stripe is the payment gateway used to collect payments from your customers. Please note, you will need to create a business account with Stripe before you can start using Lightspeed online ordering. If you are already using the loyalty app, and have already set this up, you can skip this step. After logging into the Lightspeed Ordering Back Office, navigate to the Settings tab on the left and click Payment Gateway. You will see a Connect with Stripe button 
Click on this and follow the Stripe instructions to fill out your connection form. The connection is pretty much immediate. Let's continue with setting up your locations. Navigate to the Locations tab and click the name of the location which you would like to manage. Here you can enable or pause online orders, set up your location details, enable or disable tipping, sort your menu alphabetically or by SKUs, Enable curbside pickup and enter the pickup instructions like ring the door when picking up or call this number XYZ. You can also offer orders not only ASAP but at future time. You can enable delivery and set up your delivery radius, estimated time range and the minimum order amount. You can also provide a note section for your customers, for example, for allergens. Next, you can enter prep time for takeaway orders and add your ordering hours. Note that you can add multiple hours per day as well. You can also add peak hours when you are the busiest and the prep time takes longer during these times. And lastly, you can hide this location if you wish, so customers won't be able to see it. At the end, please don't forget to save the changes you have made. You can customize the look and feel of your order ahead web app by adding a logo, banner or color theme. The appearance of your order ahead app is configured from the design page of the online ordering back office. Let's look at this page now. You can specify your primary and navigation bar, icon, button and button text colors. Primary color means the color of the navigation bar background, as you can see here. Navigation bar icon, that color is, is means the navigation bar icons. The button colors are the order and payment buttons. The button text color is the color of the buttons for ordering and payment. Make sure your primary and secondary colors contrast with your text colors for readability. Any changes you make will be instantly reflected on your online ordering platform. Once you save the changes, refresh your page and the new button color is now available. Furthermore, you can also add your logo and banner on this page. Your logo will be displayed on the top of your order ahead web app and your banner will be displayed behind your location details. Now that we have finished setting up our back offices, let's look at how can we take orders as a customer. Please note currency will be country specific. You see these categories we created online and all the products that we link to them. The name, image, description and price will synchronize. Let's just click on this one and add this to the order. We select another product, let's say this coffee. We will see the available modifiers and sizes as well. Add this to the order and now we can decide if we'd like this to be a pickup or a delivery order. If it's a pickup we can decide to pick it up ASAP or sometime at a specified time. And similar to that delivery has the same option an ASAP or sometime in the future. If we switch back to pickup you can see the curbside pickup availability because we enable this option with the note as well and further down is the note option for the customer if they like to let us know anything. If we enable tipping we can see the set percentages or we can give a custom tip as well. Let's continue to the payment. 
As we mentioned, this will be done via Stripe. This is a pre-saved credit card of mine. So if you click on this, we don't even need to enter that anymore. We can just save this. Now the order statuses will update for us automatically based on the settings in our back office. For me, it's a manual setup, so I'm going to just accept this order. And as soon as I do that, it will update the status for the customer, the order in progress. Once I finalize this order, then I have the order complete. Basically, the order is ready for pickup now. To allow customers to access your lights with online ordering, we encourage you to place a button on your website directing your customers to the online ordering website. If you're unsure how to place the button on your website, reach out to your account manager or send us an email on onlineordering.team at lightspeedhq.com and we are happy to help. Now let's see how does this look like on our POS. We are now taking an order again in real time. So I'm just going to put through the same coffee like we did before, add this to the order. I'm not going to change any other settings. I'm just going to the payments right away. Please note actually here, I have to create an account as a customer to be able to save my details, of course. Now I'm just going to proceed to the payment. And then we can see that this order right away popped in to my point of sale. I don't have a printer attached to this point of sale, therefore I'm just going to save all the receipts to images, but I'm expecting that to update the status on, on the screen for me. You can see it's now order in progress. And then I will click on pay and finalize this order, which will then update our status to order ready for pickup. And then on your settings, of course, this can be all automated and you won't need to manually accept or finalize orders. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need any help or you have questions, please let us know and get in touch with your account manager. We will be very happy to assist. Till next time. Bye.